we have our friend's wine from a place called Esh Kodesh, which translates as holy fire. So we're, doing, we're doing central Israel, and we're no. doing the Galil. This is the mountain region, what we call Judea and Samaria. Others like to call it West Bank, even though there's no bank there, there's no Chase Bank, there's no City Bank, no TD Bank. Don't we know someone that tried to register, register a company? To be able to have a checking account, and yes. they wouldn't let them yes. because the name bank was in it. Yeah, they told us. They told us they thought we were a bank, and we said we're not a bank. And That's then, like a skateboarding thing, right? Exactly. The guy, the guy has like mm -hmm. the West Banks, mm -hmm. like where they, they, you know, they skateboard off the banks of the walls and this, and they have ramps and everything. And they, I'm sorry, sir, you cannot register your company. Yeah. The word bank is in your, you know, thing. What would be another bank? Don't bank on it. You know, like a hip hop company. Yeah. No. Anyways. Banksy. I'm here with you, Lord. This is Fee Lauren. Mm -hmm. We are uh, sitting here next to two particularly good wines. We've been hovering through dinner. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nakam Orth, for the beautiful food. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's time to get into it. Yeah. So I think we should have the Heart of Israel cab, cab first. <clears throat> it's a little lighter, a little bit softer. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about that and get into it. And are, do you have some that in your glass already? Mm hmm. Oh, let's fill up your glass a little bit here. Are you on, are you on filament that in that juncture right there? Am I what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little. Okay, fine. I'm in. I'm in the picture. All right. Shot. Refill. Perfect. Well, thank okay. You. So this is a project by one of the uh, people in the Benjamin Council. Who works with the Benjamin Council? Who works with the Benjamin Council? No. His name is A. Y. Katzoff. He has a he. I think he owns the vineyards, but the person making the wine is someone else. But he's involved. And that as well. No staining the table, kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or as I like to say in my apartment to my roommates, stop shaking the table. Yeah. Or stop shaking the table. Right here. All right. It's uh, 830 meters above sea level, the growing area. It is 93% Cabernet, 7% Petit Verdot. It is 14.3% mm -hmm. alcohol. Mm -hmm. And why are we telling you any of that about the 26 uh, bricks at harvest? Because... Then you can go back and look at whether wines are really good at their particular elevation. Mm -hmm. You can look at what their wines, the bricks level is, and you become familiar with how you like to taste wines and when they're harvested correctly for your taste buds or my taste buds or Svee's taste buds. And another reason is because it says Cabernet Sauvignon, but in Israel you can go up to 15% of another grape and still call it Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they do it's that. It's 85 and 15, 85 ratio. Uh, but, th <clears throat> but that's Emma's. Mm -hmm. All right, let's give it a smell. What are we listening to here? That's a question. Huh. We were listening. Track by the we, were, we, were, we were listening. Rabbit to, in the moon. We were out listening. Of body we, were, we were listening to Hard Kiss. So this is this serious is, stuff. This is from 1995. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we're a lot It's very house. floral. It is a. We're not in sphere really? anywhere, so we can listen to music? Yeah. Okay, good. Just want to make sure. Okay. <laughs> That's funny, right? You just keep counting to like 100, you know, 100, 200, like. I wonder what the spheres are after that. Make them up as we go along. Super floral wine. Mm hmm. It's woody, it's fungal. Mm hmm. It's a fun guy. Yeah, it says Tough Rocky Mountains. Picked in the moonlight. So so what is the little, what is the little mossy? Oh, why during the nighttime? What is the yeah, what is the thing of picking because something the at two in the morning? You have isolated that it's exactly the peak ripeness that you ever want it to go to. And you get it off of the vine before the sun comes up the next morning. Hmm. You eliminate the ability mm -hmm. for it to um, expand its sugar level or to mm -hmm. ripen further. Mm -hmm. As we know, flowers retract at night and open back up in the mornings. Mm -hmm. So same concept with, with the ripening of the fruit. The uh, progression of the ripening of the fruit is basically stunted in the night or mm -hmm. slows way down. Mm -hmm. And when the sun comes back out, it starts pushing again, mm -hmm. which you don't want it to do once you've checked the sugar levels 
and you like the pH of the wine and you like the way that grape is then mm -hmm. as the sun's going down when you check it. Mm -hmm. Very pretty nose. So this, very pretty nose. This, Let's give this a taste. We already um, said um, Rachel earlier. This the location of this winery, it's it's really a, a living representation of what the Torah is talking about. Actually says a verse here from Jeremiah, from Yimriahu, again you will plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. So like there's so many of these little phrases, Yimriahu in Amos, it talks about like people, you know, Jewish people coming back to the land, building vineyards, planting vines, stuff this is stuff that like was prophecy and it's actually happening. And people are This almost has like a a non spicy wasabi thing going on, as goofy as weird as that is. A little bit, yeah. It's like it's like if somebody took the spice out of wasabi. Wasabi. Yeah. And just gave it very that. earthy wine. Mm hmm Very like dry, dark chocolate. But it's not as earthy as Psagot. It's not like Psagot is like Some of them. Yeah. And then um hmm. So it's, you know what I like about this? For the um we were talking earlier about some people like, oh no, it's date juice. Oh no, it's too sweet for me. It's too fruity. This is not at all. No, this it's is not a, tame, it's not a, yeah. restrained. It's not a crazy fruit bomb. Dry. Yeah. No big fruit bomb here. Mm -hmm. So what is the thing of Petit Verdot? A lot of these winers use Petit Verdot as like a firming mm -hmm. agent, so to speak. Color. Our friend, what's his name, uses Brings it. Brings a darker color. Near Levy. To the wine. Mm-hmm. The overt dryness of this wine, it's really, it, um, yeah. Petit Verdot has got some ripping tannins. Yeah. Yeah, you feel them on your on your teeth. Oh, yeah. So first this is grabbing you all through this upper area mm -hmm. right here in front it's of like your a, teeth. Uh, I feel like I'm having like, a, I don't know, some kind of like periodontal work over here by the wine. Hmm. That's cute. <laughs> I'm trying it in different ways. I'm trying by putting it on my tongue, let it drip back, rinsing the mouth around a little bit, let it go to the top of the palate. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty well balanced wine. The it way it young. the way it drinks. It's young, but it's well balanced. But it's a big baby. Yeah. All right. Fourteen point three three percent alcohol. Heart of Israel wines from uh, the Benjamin region. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uh, Mr. Katzoff. Yeah. Mr. Katsoff, here's to you for making a good wine with my hat off. Mm -hmm. Solid. Um, so a thirty dollar bottle of wine, thirty five. We would forty. What could, retail? It could, what? It could, it could it could retail thirty. It could retail thirty. Okay. Start start off. You know, it's, it's one pretty of those, good. It's one of those things like people don't know the name, don't know the brand, but you can you can you can justify. You know, boutique. Person needs to want a little bit of an acidic dry wine though. Yeah. Like this is a food wine. Yeah. Steak. There are some juicy fruit wines that just they're not necessarily food. Yeah. Or you 